a Mimi Bacheller, artist, educator, and member of the Pompano Beach Public Art Committee. I'm thrilled to be here today to introduce and share my perspective on this wonderful piece of artwork entitled Community, right here at the Charlotte Berry Civic Center. Later, I'd love to invite you back to my studio to share my artwork with you. The incredible large scale mosaic was created by our very own mosaic team, directed by Sonata Casameratin. My love of nature initially drew me to this incredibly detailed mosaic. I immediately felt the presence of water rippling in concentric circles. The analogy of both ripples and reflections in the piece speak to me in a variety of ways. I see culture expanding when a wave of art is experienced and how the art reflects and enhances who we are in our community. Different sizes, colors, and textures in the mosaic reflect the diversity and resilience of the community that Charlotte Berry helped to guide, mature, and grow. Art has a way of opening new ways of seeing and interpreting our world. It is my wish that public art in Pompano Beach will open new conversations and beautify our wonderful, ever-emerging community. Hey everybody, welcome to my studio. Before I start showing you my work, I wanted to show you this mosaic that I did because I was so inspired by the mosaic team and all the mosaics that we are seeing throughout our city. This was my first attempt at a mosaic, but my main work is multimedia and collage. This is a piece that I've been working on recently, inspired by a recent trip to North Carolina. I'm a person that lives in two worlds, in nature and in the woods and in an urban environment. And I felt that this captured that emotion that I have and so many people are torn between the different worlds that they occupy. This is a collage. I find materials. I collect materials. I collect objects. I save them. I never know when I'm going to use them. All of a sudden I remembered I had this paper with deer on it. So I cut them out and did a little color pencil on them to make them pop out. And I move things around. Everything that I do is developed intentionally, but slowly, layer by layer, decision by decision, until I feel like the piece is finished. One day I realized that there is a universal quality to familiar materials and the personal stories that connect us all through shared emotions and memories. Fabrics, printed media, toys, and found objects all explore ways to link us to our time. A piece of saved wrapping paper can remind me of all the special gifts I have ever received. This interaction of content and media can reveal the dark, the beautiful, the sublime, and the mysterious dualities that grow from life and real experience. Through observation and intuition, my art seeks to discover unity and balance inherent in the human condition. Nature has always been the source of my ideas and inspiration. I love creating interesting spaces where hybrid media, nature, and spirituality commingle in unexpected and interesting ways. I choose materials in the same way a painter chooses colors or designs a composition, layer by layer, where new fresh surfaces are explored. Varieties of diverse materials always surprise me with new exciting possibilities. Traditional and digital media combined with three-dimensional elements inspire new narratives and new definitions of space. It is my intention to encourage viewers to interact with my art from their own experiences and perspectives, creating their own interpretation of the work. This piece is one of my most recent pieces that I did during the pandemic and quarantine. It's called Life's Decisions, and it represents all the challenges that we've been facing in this current environment of COVID. The snakes are representative of the challenges and negative forces that impede our lives. 
the birds are souls flying into the heavens. These are the paths of life that people are walking through that are affected by this. The gloves and the toys are our heroes that are serving us with complete unselfish um, qualities. The flowers represent the printed and the artificial world as well as the real world if in the third dimension. I love to combine all these real materials and put them together in a form that is unique and fresh. Thank you so much for coming to visit me in my studio and giving me a chance to share my experience with the public art in Pompano Beach. If you'd like to see some more work and learn more about me, you can check me out at my website, MimiBots.com. Thank you.